Once upon a time in a small village nestled between rolling hills and babbling brooks, there lived a wise Zen master named Master Kuma. Master Kuma was known throughout the land for his profound wisdom and gentle teachings that touched the hearts of everyone he encountered. One day, a curious villager named Jiro approached Master Kuma with a question that had been lingering in his mind. Master, Jiro asked, why is it that we should not overshare? In a world where people are encouraged to express themselves freely, why should we hold back our thoughts and emotions? Master Kuma, with his calm demeanor and a twinkle in his eye, invited Jiro to sit beside him under the ancient cherry blossom tree. The gentle breeze carried the sweet scent of blossoms as Master Kuma began to share his wisdom. Jiro, imagine you are a gardener cultivating a beautiful garden. Each plant requires just the right amount of water, sunlight and care to thrive. Too much water may drown the roots, too much sunlight may scorch the leaves. Similarly, in the garden of our lives, we must be mindful of what we share. He continued, oversharing is like pouring an abundance of water onto delicate flowers. It may overwhelm others, and they might not be able to absorb or appreciate the essence of what you're saying. Just as a garden needs balance, so do our words and emotions. Master Kuma pointed to the cherry blossoms overhead. See these blossoms? They don't shout for attention, yet their beauty is undeniable. They bloom in perfect harmony with nature. Similarly, by not oversharing, we allow our true selves to unfold naturally, without the need for constant validation from others. Jiro nodded thoughtfully, absorbing Master Kuma's words like a sponge soaking up wisdom. Master Kuma continued, in the practice of Zen, we learn the art of mindful communication. We choose our words carefully, like a calligrapher crafting each stroke with intention. By being selective in what we share, we cultivate a sense of inner peace and create space for genuine connections. The sun began to set, casting a warm glow over the village. Master Kuma concluded, remember, Jiro, the art of not oversharing is not about hiding our true selves. It's about embracing the beauty of simplicity, allowing others to appreciate the uniqueness of each moment, just like the delicate dance of cherry blossoms in the breeze. With newfound understanding, Jiro thanked Master Kuma for his insightful teachings and walked away, carrying the lessons of the wise Zen master with him. And so, in that tranquil village, the wisdom of not oversharing became a guiding principle for mindful living, like a gentle breeze that touched the hearts of all who embraced its simplicity.